What's going on YouTube? Horror here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make uh, water in Cinema 4D for low poly. And I'd just like to start off by saying that I am sick, so I sound pretty weird. <laughs> so uh, please don't make fun of me. So let's start this tutorial. Now open up Cinema 4D, and once it start, once it opens, um, this is what it'll look like. So start off by using a cube and make the x value 1000 and make the z value 1000 make the y value 30 now that you have that um you can just take this fong tag, select that and delete it. it look, nothing happened. Okay. Now, now go to this little arc here and go to displacer. Drag this displacer into the cube. Go to shading. Click this tab and click noise. Now go back to the arc and click poly reduction. I drag this right under displacer and everything disappears and the one thing that everyone misses is this go back to the cube segments the, that's just huge in low poly I just put 25 on each of the segments you can mess around with whatever you want and you can go back to the object on the displacer and you can change the height to however you want it to look like that looks pretty cool so now we have to make the water material this is probably the hardest part about making water so just double click in this box down here double click the material and check specular off go to color go to click this tab go to gradient click this box here click, double click this tab and then go to a light blue and pick that and then go double click this tab and go to a darker blue and there's that put reflection on put that to around maybe 10 and then go to transparency put that to around 82 and that looks pretty good now just drag that material onto the cube and then when you render it out that's what it looks like I know right there that doesn't look good but once you get lighting into this it looks way better and even if you want, probably you could put the transparency up to about 90. It's a little better. But that is how you make it. And just once you put it into a Lightroom, it looks 20 times better. Trust me. Um, But that's about it, guys, for this tutorial. And this is Horror here. Peace out.